Hey, what's up everybody? This is uh, Tanner from the School of Day Trading. Just want to get another video out today going over how to set up a uh, free chart on StockCharts.com. I had mentioned it in my other FinViz video on how I like to do my nightly uh, technical analysis with stock charts. So I figured that'd be a good video to make to show everybody how to use their, their free site. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to StockCharts.com. When you get there, it's it's kind of similar to Finviz in a sense that it'll show a lot of the trending stocks and and an overview for the day for the different markets. But what we're going to do is go right up here to where it says enter company name or symbol, and we'll just go ahead and use Apple as an example. So we'll enter the symbol for Apple and press enter. And as you can see, it's going to pop up their default setting for the Apple chart. It's going to have the RSI up above the basic candle chart, uh, the MACD down below. And then if you see down here, it has a lot of different options that we can play around with chart attributes, overlays, indicators, and stuff of, of that nature. The first thing we're going to do though, just to make things easier down the road, is where it says inspect, we're going to click that box. And what it's going to do is provide a better cursor for us so when we're going through our charts, we can better see the price and, and other information. The next thing we're going to do is come right down here and we'll just start from the top and we'll go all the way to the bottom and fill this out. Um, we'll leave the period as daily. We will, however, right over here where it says full quote and price labels, we're going to click both of those boxes. Oop. There we go. So we're going to click both of those boxes and just go ahead and hit update. And what that's going to do for us is set the prices. Up here you can see this 9505 and this 8893. It's going to put those prices there for us so we can more easily see when we quickly glance at the chart, we can easily see where support is and where resistance is. We don't have to scroll around as much and see. It's going to actually label that for us. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to overlays. And the default setting it provides us with the 50 moving average and the 200 simple moving average. However, I like to add one more, the 20 simple moving average. So you just go to this drop down box, go to simple moving average, and then you can just enter in 20 and hit update. And it'll put all three of those moving averages on the chart for you. Next thing we're going to do is go to indicators. It already has the RSI for us. You can see right up here, it has the RSI at the top. We'll go ahead and leave the RSI but we're going to change the setting, the parameters to 12. And instead of having it up above, we're going to put it below so it's more easily to see with our other indicators. It also has the MACD under default for us. We're going to leave the MACD as well. And we'll just go ahead and leave that as basic setting for now. And the last indicator we're going to add, it could really be, typically I'll go with the money flow index or the slow stochastic. For this one, we'll do the slow stochastic. We'll add that. However, we're not going to leave it at 14.3. We want it to be on the similar parameters as the RSI. So we're going to do 12.2 for that. And then we'll just hit update and it'll fill that all in for us on the chart. And so that's the basically all you can do on the free version for indicators. It only allows you to add three. If you were to get a membership with stockcharts.com, uh, I believe they have memberships ranging from $14 to $30 depending on what kind of stuff you want. You can get it to where you can add up to six or as many indicators as you want, really. But this is, this is a good starter point and a good basic chart setup for when you're doing your scans on Finviz that we went over the other night. Once you see a, a chart you like, I recommend coming to StockCharts.com, having this set up, and entering that chart in so you can look and see more clearly really where the support is, where the resistance is, and, and the different signals. As you can see when we look at the indicators of Apple, the slow stochastic line is starting to really bottom out and cross. The RSI, uh, it's more in the middle section. It could come down a little further, as could the MACD. But as you can see, that slow stochastic line is crossing over. We did start to have a reversal today, so it's something to keep an eye on. And it's easy to notice the next resistance, because it has a listage for you right here, the uh, 20 moving average at 91.75. So that'd be something to keep an eye on intraday when you're trading to know also where the daily resistances are as well. Oh, and one last thing just to kind of play around with. You can change the color of your charts. I know some people are pretty picky about what their charts look like. 
Uh, me personally, I like to go to Mojave. I'll go ahead and click that, and it'll just make it look a little different for you. It could be a little easier on your eyes. Um, so yeah, I recommend. I really recommend using StockCharts.com to do your chart analysis. I've had a membership for a while now. When you have a membership, it'll let you save the charts. You don't have to come on and and go over what we just did and re-enter all that in every single time. You can save your charts. You can save different watch lists, and uh, and it'll make it a lot easier for when you're going through. You can just go through your pre pre saved charts, and you have your predefined buy areas and your predefined sell areas, and it'll make it a lot easier for you. So that's our basic video on StockCharts.com. Again, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. We'll be sure to get back to you. If you haven't followed us yet on Twitter, go ahead and give us a follow at the School of Day Trading. And uh, if this video helped you in any way, please like the video and subscribe. Have a great night.